Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial part 2. Marine Propeller Aerofoil Design from Excel to Rhino Brought to you by Excel 3D Rhino Before we start, I do hope you have watched the tutorial part 1 in order to be able to follow this tutorial part 2. If not, the link will be in the description below. In this tutorial, we will briefly introduce the application of the Excel Aerofoil design in Rhino and hope to have fun a little bit. And after that, we will incorporate new dimensions such as Z coordinate, point of reference or mid code, rack, and pitch or the angle of rotation. Let us start with application of the part 1 design. Let us continue to expand the table and insert values for height or length or Z coordinate, point of reference and also rack. Insert value for Z coordinate and fix the cells in the column O and column R with the cell C8. Then, paste it in Rhino by simply copy and paste using the keyboard shortcut key. Continue to test with different values of airfoil section dimension until you are satisfied. Next is, we want to determine the point of reference of the airfoil. To do so, we use the IF function for cells in table column X over code with the formula as shown. Then enter a value of 0 0.5 which represents the mid code of the airfoil which found in the tables column X over C. The next one is rec. To do so, simply add at the end of the formula with plus C10 and fix it by pressing F4 or with dollar symbol for each cells in tables column X over code. 
test it again by inserting different values and observing the changes in the aerofoil drawing. Continue to test it in Rhino to make sure the shape is as we expected. Now next one is pitch or rotated aerofoil at the point of reference with a given angle of rotation. Before we do so, I need to hide some of the columns here so that everything remains in the screen. Then insert four new columns in between of the Y and Z coordinate from the suction line table. We do this to prepare two arrays for us to be able to use MMULT function. The first array is the table column X and Y coordinate, and the second array is the angle matrix table which formulas are given as shown. The expected results will be given in the new X and Y values. Select the range and press Ctrl Shift Enter followed by selection, the range of first and second array. Then repeat the same steps for pressure line coordinate by copy and paste the range from the suction line table. Adjust the cells as indicated in the formula and press enter. The final step is to do correction of the extracted values by the code generator by taking the new X and Y values of suction and pressure lines coordinate. Now is the time to test our newly incorporated function in Excel and use the code generator for design in Rhino. Let's conclude our tutorial for now. Enjoy and have fun! Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more videos from Excel 3D Rhino.